What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? You are now watching the Doggy Diamonds Live Show with my co host, Uncle Tad. Uncle Tad. Coco. Coco. Karma Kane. Karma Kane. Music by DJ Big M. And I am your host, Doggy Diamonds. to a lot of people on camera, but I'm yeah. well known off camera. All right, let them know your name. Yeah, Skibo Deepo, Mr. You Already, Mr. Moon Things, you know. They know me, Brooklyn, shout out, shout out my Brooklyn niggas, they know me, Mills. Shout out my Bronx niggas, you know what I mean? Harlem, you know, we everywhere. And Look, where are you from? I'm from, I'm from North Carolina, from Harlem, from the Bronx. Okay. You know I mean? I'm from Middletown, I'm the hood representative, I'm from everywhere. And, and Skibo Deepo, how did you come up with that name? Oh, nah, that ain't no, like, you know where I come from, you don't make up your name, you get given a name. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. actions and what you do. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And, you know, I'm just like a, my pops used to call me Stevo, my real name. Okay. And the streets took it, put the ski on it, the we was doing at that time. We were taking them on the ski slopes, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Debo speaks for itself, you know? Yeah, yeah. You had to be, you had to be violent. They don't respect violence in the hood. So you getting on... You getting some spins out there. A little, 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 little momentum building up, you know what I mean? How hard is it for artists coming in? How hard is it, I want you to explain to them, how hard is it to get on these radio stations? Uh, it's, 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 it's hard and it's easy. If you if you, if you if you serious about your craft, ain't nothing going to come easy. So you got to work for it. You got to contact the people. You know what I mean? Some of them on the feet. Pay the fee. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to be exposed and you want to get out there, and you ain't got no name and nobody don't know you from a hole in the wall. Pay the fee, you know what I mean? Get the exposure. The music house is gonna speak for itself. You know what I mean? They're gonna follow you behind the music once they hear the music from the first time, and it's been up after that. You know so I, mean? I know of you from Gully TV. Shout out to Gully. Shout out Gully TV. It's my brother. And um, shot a lot of your videos. Got a lot of visuals out there. That's right. What cool. what? Oh. What inspires you to even rap or do any of this shit? Actually, it was him. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we always play with the rap in the hood, freestyling on the block. You know, simple cypher shit. Well, you know, little bullshit around. But one day I was out there with a fucking him at every PA. And he like, nigga, you out here doing what you doing. I could, I could back you up and sell you. You, you. you what the people want to see. They want to see the truth. They want to really see a nigga who's really living what he's talking about and really got accolades and his resume is extensive. Ain't no made up shit. A lot of these niggas be talking that trap shit and rap shit and gangster shit, but they ain't got no history. Yeah. Like how you rapping and trapping and gangster and who you gangster and like who you, you know what I mean? Like who, what you doing? Who you shot? Like shit like that. So you know that girl. Like so he told me like niggas fuck all that shit. What you talking about? We gonna get this one of his music. Yeah. We been pushing that ever since. So a lot of your videos on DoggyDiamondsTV.com. Back to life. Shout out Doggy Diamonds. Yeah. Um, a lot of your videos the, uh, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, what you got coming up? We got the Moodle Thing single out now rocking. We got the Click Click record coming up with Sin City. Shout out to my nigga Sin City. You know what I mean? And uh, we got that big record with, 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 with Louis. With Louis, uh, what's his name? Louis P. I don't know his rap name. I don't know his rap name. Louis Banks with brother. Louis, 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 Louis P. P. You know what I mean? Yeah, he got, we, got a, we got a big record coming out. So, you know, we just gearing up. I'm going to keep hitting y'all with non stop bangers. I ain't going to even have one second to talk about. This nigga ain't really got it. Yeah. Record after record after record, banger after banger. You know what I mean? All right. So Jim Jones was on ESPN. Mm -hmm. Highly questionable. Mm -hmm. He spoke about French Montana about the situation where they, you know, he, he asked for the fair one. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing is that you was the liaison to both of them. I mean, I was just trying to like mediate it before it get any crazier than whatever they got. Okay. Like I feel that like I fuck with Jim, I fuck with French. He's my nigga from before the rap. You know what I mean? So I'm like, my nigga, like, let's get this out. Shoot the fever. <laughs> how, but he want, that's how he wanted to do it. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, nah, fuck, they disrespectful. I, I tell him shit to vibe, and it'd be that. So me being the street nigga and the hood nigga, I'm telling my man, like, before all that shoot shit happened, let's just shoot the fire. I'm going go with you. Like, I'm with you. It never happened, you know what I mean? Simple loop, one-on-one. And, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> it didn't happen. It ain't happen, you know. Everybody ain't built for that. I can't really knock him for not doing it. Cause you know, he don't know what will happen to so him. Like, I'm yeah. telling him to put his life in my hand, but he don't know. You know what I mean? And he should have known, but he don't know. So I don't know how he felt about it. 
and that would have that would end a lot of conflict. Yeah, it would end all that five, shit right? back in the day. Yeah. Cool shit. That, that's what happens when you, when you, you your when best you, friend you shot the five with. Yeah, yeah. you got you got to build that respect. Once the disrespect line been crossed, you got to build that respect back by shooting the five. Simple. Little dance. Anybody gonna die? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> little two step, little shuffle. Anybody gonna die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I broke it up. Boom, boom, cool. That we making music together. New York. That's the problem in New York, man. New York don't represent each other, man. Yeah. Everywhere I go, I'm the represent, like I told you, I'm everywhere over the country. Man. I just came out from, I just came back from Aruba. I'm talking about like a couple days ago. I yeah, just yeah, touched yeah, the yeah. land again. I was out there experimenting life. Come back to this bullshit. Rest in peace of everybody who's dying. Like, this shit is crazy out here, man. Yeah. And New York just keep hating on each other, keep hating. And nobody's sticking together, man. And that's why the South is winning. They all stick together. This, this is the new New York. You know, yeah, these, it's the new New York. These are young dudes who, who the OGs got caught up. You know, we were fortunate enough to still stick around and not get caught up, but a lot of dudes got caught up in, in all kind of sweeps. Like, what would you call that, though? You know, like all kind of conspiracies yeah, and yeah, racketeering yeah, yeah. charges. It's, they they locked up the whole warrior class. 20, so 20, 20 30, dudes out here 20 and 30 dudes out here. at a time. Right? And then when the OGs the come on, they don't want to hear them. And then the little the dudes, dudes got older. Yeah. yeah, they build, and they build their name. We can't knock them for what they doing, because that's yeah. what we did to build our name. Nah, but it's, just that, it's just that it's no, it's no goddess and nobody know how to fight. Yeah, you know, these little niggas want to shoot you over a, a stair counter. Those are such fights in the 90s, you know what I mean? Yeah. Niggas want to pull the guns out now, like, damn, little You fight, you get that, nobody dies. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, don't get it fucked up. Sometimes it goes to the guns, but at least stop with the fist fights. But that's when the fight ain't fit. That's when the fight ain't fit. When you knock them out and then you start stomping them, you swear they got down, like, you know, yeah. Because remember the thing was, let's shoot the five and go drink a forty out. Yeah, that was Smoke the shit. Blood, drink yeah, a 40. yeah, 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 yeah. They wasn't, you know, the problem is like you said, everybody got swept up, and their kids wasn't raised how we was raised, so they being raised by themselves, like yeah. you know what I mean. So they don't really got no guidance. That's what this boy, that's what all boy down to no guidance. So the social network. How do you be on social networks sometimes, and a nigga might say to you, "Yo, you whack, you suck my dick, and all that shit." How do you take to that? They, I, my personal opinion, they only put up negative comments for your feedback. Okay. I don't feed no negative energy. Okay. okay. Nigga won't sit there, sit at my face and try to like get actually crazy in person. Yeah. So that's that. And you know the, the Twitter thugging and all that. I don't feed none of that. You know what I mean. All right. So I, I don't even see it. Right. And I don't be racist. Nothing. I leave it there just for him. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So um, Em, let's get into some of that music. Yeah. yeah. Right. Put, put little things right now, YouTube, iTunes, everywhere, featuring King Louis Tone Trump. I went to Philly, shot Trump first. Okay. I went to Chicago and shot Louis shit. Wow, right, let's get it. All right.